So Avi Loeb just released new data about 3i Atlas, and it is once again doing something that is breaking the rules of physics. 3i Atlas is now turning blue, and not just a little blue, bluer than the sun itself. We already had around eight other completely bizarre anomalies about 3i Atlas that did not make sense, and now this blue color signal is joining the list of things that should not be happening. Now, the blue color thing might sound confusing because we see the sun as yellow in the sky, but the sun is actually white. And when scientists talk about something being bluer than the sun, they are talking about color temperature. Blue light is more energetic than yellow or red light. So when something is bluer, it means it is giving off more energetic, hotter light. For something to be bluer means it is either hotter or something weird is going on with the physics. So when you have an object in space and sunlight hits it, the light bounces off and comes back to us. Now, the surface of 3i Atlas should be way colder than the sun. The sun is burning at about 5,800 degrees on its surface. This object from interstellar space should be an order of magnitude colder than that way, way colder. And here is the thing about cold objects in space. When light bounces off them, especially if there is dust around, that light should look redder than the original sunlight. That is just how physics works. Cold things with dust around them make light more red, not more blue. But 3i Atlas is doing the exact opposite as it's getting bluer than the sun itself, which makes absolutely no sense if this is just a regular chunk of ice and rock reflecting sunlight. So what could possibly explain this? The best theory scientists have right now is that this is not just reflected light anymore. Something is happening where the object is actively emitting light on its own. There is gas shooting out, and that gas is glowing bright enough and hot enough to make the whole thing look blue. But that raises an even bigger question. What is making the gas glow that hot? What kind of energy source could be producing temperatures higher than just the sun's heat hitting a cold rock? Avi Loeb is asking whether there could be some kind of power source on or inside this object that is running hotter than the sun's surface. And before you think that sounds crazy, remember that we, we are already at nine anomalies here. This thing has been weird from day one. The brightening is just as strange. Scientists are measuring how fast 3i Atlas is getting brighter as it approaches the sun, and they are finding that the brightness is scaling with the distance to a power of negative 7.5. What does that mean in normal language? It means the brightening rate is insane. They looked at other comets from the Oort cloud at similar distances, and those comets are brightening much, much more slowly the scientists writing about this are flat out, saying they do not know why 3i Atlas is brightening so fast. The reason is unclear. That is the phrase they are using. When scientists say the reason is unclear, that means something really weird is going on. And the timing of all this is almost too perfect. Right now from Earth, we cannot see 3i Atlas at all because it is hiding directly behind the sun. Solar conjunction happened on October 21st, just eight days before it reached its closest point. So Earth-based telescopes are completely blocked, but we have got multiple space telescopes positioned in different spots around the solar system, and they are getting perfect views of this whole show. Stereo A is watching it. That is a satellite we launched back in 2006. Soho is watching it, and that thing has been up there since 1995. GOES-19, which is actually a weather satellite we just put up last year, is watching it. And then there are these brand new punch satellites giving us images with very specific wavelength filters so scientists can see exactly what colors of light are coming off this thing. All of these instruments are watching 3i Atlas in real time as it is brightening and changing color. And one of them, an instrument called CCR1, is showing something else that is blowing people's minds. There is a glow around 3i Atlas that is extending out 300,000 kilometers. Let that sink in for a second. 300,000 kilometers, that is absolutely enormous. A while back, another telescope uh, spotted a carbon dioxide plume 
around this object that was similar in size. So whatever is happening with 3i Atlas, it is happening on a truly massive scale. Loeb is pointing out something that is making people uncomfortable. The geometry of all this is almost too perfect. The fact that 3i Atlas positioned itself exactly where space telescopes can see it, but Earth telescopes cannot, right at the moment of perihelion, when the most interesting stuff would be happening. That is what he calls a possible hint of design. After perihelion, 3i Atlas is going to swing back around and become visible from Earth again. We will start seeing it at twilight. But the really big moment is coming in December. On December 19th, it makes its closest approach to Earth. Now, it is still going to be pretty far away, about 269 million kilometers out. But that is close enough that our very best telescopes are going to get incredible looks at it. And we are talking about the heavy hitters here. Hubble Space Telescope is going to be observing it. James Webb uh, Space Telescope is going to be observing it. Ground observatories around the world, they are planning detailed spectroscopy, which means they are going to break the light down into all its different wavelengths and figure out exactly what elements and compounds are there. This is going to tell us what this thing is actually made of and what is causing all these bizarre behaviors. The energy levels here are insane. At perihelion, 3i Atlas is getting hammered with at least 770 watts of solar energy for every single square meter of its surface. The total solar power hitting this thing is at least 33 gigawatts. To put that in perspective, that is at least a third of all the power coming from all 94 commercial nuclear reactors running in the United States right now. And all that energy is hitting an object that is spinning once every 16 hours. That much energy is doing something. Between July and October, scientists estimate it lost about 2 million tons of material. Now, 2 million tons sounds like a massive amount, right? But compared to its total estimated mass of at least 33 billion tons, it is actually losing less than 0 0.00005 of itself. So it is not breaking apart or crumbling, at least not yet. The big question is, what is all that heat and energy doing to the object? If this is a natural comet, you would expect all that solar heating to break it apart and create this huge bright cloud of gas and dust. That would be normal. That would explain the brightening. But would it explain the blue color? Would it explain the perfect positioning? Would it explain the ninth anomaly? Like If this is something else, something technological, then perihelion would be the perfect time for it to do interesting things. Think about it. This, this would be the ideal moment for something to change course, to perform what scientists call an Oberth maneuver, where you use the sun's gravity to slingshot yourself in a new direction super efficiently. This would be the perfect time to release smaller probes or show excess heat from engines or transmit radio signals. If you were designing a mission and you wanted to use the sun for energy or navigation, this is exactly when you would do it. And just to give you a sense of scale here, Loeb points out that Starship, which is the biggest rocket we have ever built, is a hundred times smaller than 3i Atlas. If this thing is artificial, it is absolutely massive by any human standard. The ninth anomaly is now documented. The clock is ticking toward December when we finally get our best looks at whatever this thing really is.